Hey everyone and welcome back. In today's off meta video I'm going to show you how to create an infinite void machine gun ammo build that you can use pretty much anywhere and it only requires the bricks from beyond from the seasonal artifact. With this build you should be able to use your machine gun as a primary for as long as you like and also get extra benefits such as applying volatile rounds non-stop. It's simple and only available for this season alone so let's jump in. To start you're going to want to have Bastion where casting your super or using your barricades will produce an overshield for you and your allies. Then you want offensive bulwark where upon having an overshield, your grenades charge faster, you have increased melee range and damage, and melee final blows extend the duration of overshields. The tone for the build is to use your machine gun constantly and apply heavy damage against everything you face. With that in mind, I've decided that if I use both Bastion and offensive bulwark in one, we can use this to get our grenades back fast and also pair this with the Echo Underminer mod for a 15% debuff to targets. Now when using your weapons, we can apply both a debuff and volatile rounds for a perfect monster against bosses. The fragments used are Echo of Undermining where Void Grenades now apply a 15% debuff to targets, Echo of Domineering where after suppressing a target you get increased mobility, your equipped weapon gets reloaded from reserves and also get Void Breaches from defeating suppressed targets. And then lastly we have Echo Instability, where defeating targets with grenades grants volatile rounds. When it comes to fragments, you're not limited down to what's shown on the screen, as the build isn't mod or fragment heavy to make it work. Echo of Undermining is a must have as that extra debuff applied will make our weapon stronger in the long run, while Domineering is helpful for keeping the momentum up and playing like a madman in most content. This will also link back into the War Rig Exotic we are using so a weapon of choice will always have ammo freely topped up. The instability fragment can be swapped out if you are using the volatile flow seasonal mod as having two ways to get volatile rounds is slightly redundant but is still recommended. However, echo persistence or vigilance are good replacements as they can enhance our build through further survivability. For the mods and stats section, I would advise you to invest into resilience and discipline stats as a whole as these will be used most often. As previously mentioned, Discipline will help with debuffing targets as a whole, so this will need to be at least tier 7 to 10 for the best benefits. Along with the offensive bulwark effect, Grenade Kickstart will help massively for the small but useful boost in grenade energy return back to the player, especially when using suppressive grenades with a high cooldown rate. I would then advise you to add on the distribution mod as you will be using your barricades quite a bit when things get rough. At tier 8, this should be enough for regenerating your class ability and also getting a steady damage reduction while in play. Do go higher so you can make full use of the damage reduction provided as you will be throwing yourself head first into most fights, but only do so if you have the stats to achieve this. Now for armor charge mods, having charged up is a must have for the extra armor charge slot it will provide. You can increase this to 2 if you wish, but I would advise you to also look into having the harmonic reserve mod for increasing all void weapon ammo reserves. This would be helpful for sustaining more ammo for longer. To support the armor charges, having the Void Siphon and Firepower mod will give you the most simplest way of creating armor charges outside of what is currently available. This will be needed as the Void Surge mod times 2 will be used to increase our Void Weapon damage by 17% as a whole, and if we want to sustain this for long, then we need to make sure our Void Weapon is putting in the work. While you're there, don't forget that the time dilation mod will help with making these surge mods last a bit longer than normal. Now lastly for weapons, you have a lot of room to pick here in terms of secondary and heavy being used. Your primary can be whatever you like, even the AR if you want to keep within the war rigs effect, but the secondary and heavy needs to be void related. One good choice you can pick for secondary is the dead messenger from Witch Queen expansion which comes in 3 flavours. With his ability to switch to void, you can use it to cover multiple grounds of element of the types you may face while also making use of the surge mod and volatile rounds that can be applied. Also, as a wave frame, it has a wide area of effect when fired compared to normal wave frames, so you can catch targets out at a much larger scale, easily. If you don't have this, then don't worry, as the new harsh language grenade launcher can be gotten this season and is a good replacement. After that, we then have the commemoration machine gun with reconstruction, and this is one of the weapons you want to get simply for the given perky name. Once active, it will overflow the weapon to have 100 plus within its base magazine, and this here means that we don't need to worry about reloading our weapon so much compared to if the weapon didn't have the perk on it. On top of that, the Warwick Exotic effect is going to auto-throw our weapon when being used, and then on top of that we have the Echo of Domineering fragment 
that can reload the weapon once it's been triggered. So overall, along with a heavy ammo finder mod and a bricks from beyond mod, you can use your machine gun as a persuader primary weapon easily. If you don't have the following, then please don't worry, as the build can work with any void machine guns. I mean, any. So the conclusion of the build is that it's an absolutely fun build to play around with when you're not doing anything in-game wise, because of how easy it is to use and the given mods provided. Bricks from Beyond is interestingly used, as anyone with the mods and using a void weapon can greatly benefit from it to a large scale and can make most content trivialized in seconds. In endgame content, I can see this mod being really useful from start to finish when dealing with ultras, mini bosses, champions, etc. But when used in general activities such as battlegrounds, gambit, and strikes, it can be almost over the top level of use. I took in the fact that the mod procs a lot when used it with machine guns, and then decided to build into it so we can make our heavy, our primary instead, and the results are there to see. You can go gun ho with the build into most activities with little care about your other weapons and usage, and if maintained right, you can use it from start to finish in any given mission or play. But what makes this really fun is that any machine gun can be technically used here as long as the secondary you're using is a void weapon. As long as that one key factor is being used along with heavy ammo finding mods as well, then you can use this in any activities up to legend mode. Do be aware that the build is 50-50 when it comes down to heavy ammo drops, as sometimes it will be plentiful, and other times it's not. But overall, the build is still going to allow you to play out your Rambo Fantasy pretty damn hard. But what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub out here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this, then I have playlists available covering all types of builds you may desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.